Okay. Now, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Risings, we get the Three of Wands. So, it seems that you guys are definitely dealing with, you know, partnership, you know, and cooperation type things. Perhaps you guys have recently started a project of some sort. And this project that you started, you might be partners with someone. And if you're not partners with someone, then what you've started here, you will definitely attract help where people will want to help you. Whether they want to help financially fund you or come on as a partner, you know, you will attract people that want to help you in regards to this project that you start. You know, this could be a creative type of project. This could be many different things you know some of you could have recently gotten a new job maybe your job would have something to do with traveling maybe you had to move for your for this particular job or project or maybe this particular job or project has something to do with water as well but overall this is about you starting something and it's definitely materializing and your resources are coming your ships are coming in bringing you resources so money is definitely coming your way and if it's not actual physical money then it will be people who are willing to help you okay for the circumstances we have the queen of cups in the reverse position so it definitely would appear that you guys may be a bit emotionally unbalanced and if it is not you then perhaps you are dealing with someone that is emotionally unbalanced but this particular situation here is definitely weighing heavy upon you so again this could be you or this could be someone that you are dealing with now, the Queen of Cups typically is Scorpio, but we're dealing with the water element. So, you know, this could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or we could just simply be relating to the energy alone, you know, which is fine. So, someone is definitely emotionally out of balance, you know, perhaps due to an emotional issue. Something occurred and, yeah, not taking it so well. There's a tendency to think with the emotions instead of with the mind because that this, you know, out of balance. So this could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with. And it could be male or female, okay? It does not have to absolutely be, you know, a woman. This could be male or female. Okay, so for circumstances, we have the Eight of Coins. So the Eight of Coins, this is about having a skill, and it is a skill or skills that can bring you recognition, rewards, you know, financial gains. But you, this is definitely indicating that you do have a skill or a set of skills that are profitable, or that you could use to profit, and. You know, if you take a look at this card, she's just working away. She's painting another pentacle there. So this, you know, is basically saying, you know, practice makes perfect. Continue working on your craft or your skill set. You know, keep, keep at it because you're perfecting them. This is more of a Virgo type of energy, but this is definitely indicating that your skill set is becoming you know, master. You're working towards mastering it and perfecting it. And you could actually receive money due to your skills and or recognition. Okay, so for the recent past, some of you could still be in this energy, but moving away from it. So here we have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is definitely swift movement, action, and this is typically about us going after, you know, a goal of ours or even a dream. 
So we are definitely putting, you know, our nose to the grindstone and we are working to achieve a goal that we, you know, really want or a dream. You know, this can also indicate, you know, a love interest as well. So yes, definitely working towards that goal. That was for the past. Now for the present energy, this is not so hot. We have the six of coins in the reverse position. So the six of coins in general is about generosity, whether you're the one giving generosity or charity or whether you're the one receiving it. Okay. But when the six of pentacles, six of coins, same thing, is in the reverse position, this can indicate that what you receive will not be what you hoped for it to be. Like if you are trying to get a loan, you may get a loan, but it may not be what you wanted it to be. It may be smaller. And sometimes this can indicate that you may receive a gift of money, but you know, may this might have strings attached, okay? So yeah, that can be a bit of a sticky situation in itself. You know, strings attached, you know, they want something, you know, else and you know, it, it may or may not be worth it. It's up to you guys to decide if it's worth it, if it has strings attached. Every Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you know, you all have your own different personal path. You're all different. Not all Capricorn, you know, Sun, Moon, and Risings are exactly alike, okay? So, we're all living our own journey. So, it is up to you to decide. But, you know, this can indicate that money does come in, but, you know, it's just not going to be what you expected it to be. Now, another word of, some of you could have been expecting a, you know, maybe a payment from like an investment, perhaps, or even from a will or estate, maybe. And, yeah, this can indicate that you won't receive as much as you thought. You know, this could be a settlement as well. Perhaps you think you're going to get something more and it's, you know, it's less than what you thought. Yeah. Or perhaps you loan out money or you give someone some money and perhaps you attract, you know, have strings attached to, you know, the loan offer. Because a lot of times the six of coins does indicate a loan. It can be charity as well, but it can be a loan as well. So maybe some of you have applied for a loan and maybe you don't get as much as you need. Okay, so this would be for the near future. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so this is a blessing here. This is definitely indicating that things are turning in your favor. You know, everything that's happening is meant to happen. You know, sometimes one door closes, another opens. And, you know, this is definitely the vibe here. But this is definitely indicating that Lady Luck is ultimately on your side here. And we could all use a little bit of this right now. <laughs> But we're not all so lucky as you guys, so. <laughs> okay, for your attitude, we have the Fool. I love this card in this particular deck. She just looks like a boss. <laughs> so, a lot of you guys are definitely proceeding down a new path or going in a new direction or have started something new. And you guys are definitely having the attitude of childlike optimism you know you're very optimistic about what you're doing about the new path you're going down just be careful to not make foolish decisions but you know this is about childlike joy and op optimism so you're definitely looking at a new start that you're on in a very optimistic and positive and joyful way and i love that energy as well Okay, not so hot energy. This is how other people see you. Here we have the chariot in the reverse position. Now, a lot of times I, re I refer to the chariot as being ruled by cancer, but it is also, in my opinion, ruled by Sagittarius as well. And whether you know about astrology or not, 
the planet of Mars is currently in the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, and Mars can be warlike. Mars can also indicate our sexual energy, but it also indicates our, our aggressive energy as well. You know, a lot more to it, but you know, I'm not trying to make this video two hours long. Okay, <laughs> so let's jump to it. So this is how other people see you. Here we have the chariot. So in the reverse position, this is definitely indicating that something you're going after, something that you're trying to achieve or accomplish. Maybe you're just feeling like that it's just too hard. Or maybe you feel like it just won't ever happen. Now, you know, that definitely contradicts here. So this can also indicate that you may be dealing with you may have someone in your life that on the surface they may look like they are okay, you know. But then, you know, when they're behind closed doors, they're really going through an emotional mess right now. And if this resonates with you, definitely do try to help this person or, you know, talk to, you know, someone that can help them because they really need some help. <laughs> now, something else I need to bring up, the chariot in the reverse position, this can be a warning that you need to have your car checked up because your car could end up breaking down. Now, I don't want to freak everybody out, but, you know, it is a possibility that for a very few of you that this can indicate a car accident. Yeah. But my overall feel is that most of you just need to have your cars checked up. Preventative maintenance. Because something could go wrong with your vehicle. And if we can prevent that, you know, from happening, let's do it. You know, preventative maintenance. <laughs> Otherwise, you could break down and, you know... At one of the worst times ever. It can be really inconveniencing. Now, something else I'd like to speak on is sometimes this can indicate that, you know, we may be pushing ourselves past the point of exhaustion. You know, we could be physically burned out. We could be emotionally burned out, mentally burned out. You know, sometimes this can indicate an actual illness. And it's because we've overworked ourselves. And I'm pretty sure I spoke to you guys about this last month. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I spoke about this last month. You definitely want to take care of yourself. I understand y'all love to work, but, you know, you do got to take time out to give yourself a break. Because if you don't do it willingly, then sometimes you end up getting sick and... You know, that's a cruddy way to take a break because you're sick. <laughs> I could think of a much better way. <laughs> you know, try to pace yourself. You know, listen or don't, it's your life, you know. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, some of you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer type of person. And this could also indicate that Perhaps if you are competing against someone, you know, it could be sports, it could be just about anything. If you feel that you're competing or if you feel that you have an enemy or an adversary, you know, when it's in the reverse position, this is definitely indicating that, you know, you're not winning right now. This is for right now, you know, so... And this is because you you need to retreat. Sometimes, you know, setbacks can occur. And then we want, you know, we you know, we naturally react and become very angry. And we really need to retreat from the anger, okay? We want to try to be calm and balanced and just handle our shit balanced, you know. <laughs> Just handle it like a boss, like you would at work, you know. Because you may have a situation or two that comes your way that may definitely tick you off. But you need to be prepared to handle it, you know. And you don't want to handle it aggressively. That won't help anything. That could just, 
you know, attract more issues. And we don't need that. So we're moving on. Okay. Hopes or fears. This would definitely seem more like a hope because we have four of cups in the reverse so we go from a period of introspection reflection feeling pretty mistrustful dissatisfied with our life is in the reverse position now so we are now finding some satisfaction we're ready to go out enjoy life we're ready to travel we're ready to have fun with our friends we're ready to just have a good time we're ready to find you know things that we're passionate about you know for some of you you might even be ready to find a relationship you know a new lover but you know this is just us and our passion has returned so yes this is definitely a hope okay final out card final outcome card <laughs> king of cups so the king of cups is a very emotionally balanced man now that again you know this could be male or female if it's representing an actual person for you this could also be indicating that we just need to channel this this type of energy but see this is this is the cancer card this king would be cancer but i naturally associate this card with capricorn as well because you know, a lot of people assume that Capricorn does not have feelings, and that is so very wrong, as you guys have probably heard me say a million times over. <laughs> Capricorns just tend to keep those emotions, you know, under the surface. They control their emotional responses, you know. They do their best to not react in an emotional way, you know. So, and this King of Cups, you know, he has a lot of emotions, but they are under the surface, and he maintains that that strong facade, but yet he's still caring. Still a very caring man, woman, however you want to look at it. But he is also in balance. And so, ultimately, my feel is, is that you guys need to basically channel this king which shouldn't be hard for most of you just don't give in to any sort of aggression when you may want to you know just stay balanced emotionally and mentally that way that any decisions you make will not be based on an extreme you know we don't want to base it on too much intellect and we don't want to base it on too much emotion so we want to be balanced just like the king of cups here so this could also be representing someone in your life you know this could be a counselor this is a king this is a king that is very very good at dealing with people's emotions and maybe you are dealing with someone's you know emotions you could be dealing with your own emotions or you could be dealing with someone else's emotions and so there's a need to stay in balance so that so that you can help whether it be help yourself or to help someone else. Because the King of Cups, he knows how to handle emotional situations, even the rockiest emotional, you know, situations. He can handle them. Yeah, can't wait to clarify that one. Okay, for the bottom of the deck, we have Two of Wands. So yes, this is about waiting for the results. We have manifested something, you know, basically we had an idea, we put it into play, we're making it happen, and now we're waiting on results. Now, for some of you, this could indicate that you're literally waiting to hear some results, whether it's from, you know, an, a test you took, or maybe you're waiting to hear back from a particular person on how they feel. Maybe you're waiting to hear back if you got a job that you've applied for. But overall, this is about we are waiting for a response. And this can also indicate as well that, you know, partnership could be offered to you. Okay, back to the beginning. Three of Wands. So this was a project. You'll definitely attract some people who will want to help. 
you know, your resources are coming in. And so it is clarified by the devil, which is the card of Capricorn. <sighs> okay. Now, the devil is many things here, but this can be our fear. This can be an obsession. This can be an addiction, which, you know what? Let's call it as it is, Caps. Y'all are addicted to working. It is what it is. <laughs> Y'all are just addicted to working. But this can also indicate a karmic toxic relationship. This could be a romantic relationship or this could be a platonic type of relationship, friendship, whatever it may be. So some of you could be having issues with someone in your life. And if so, it, it would just seem very toxic. Like you have a lot of problems with this person. It's like problem after problem after problem. It just seems to be never ending. And it's because it's karmic. Some things we need to just learn to let go of. Yeah. But yeah, if you're obsessed with work and addicted to working, you know, do be careful. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The devil made me do it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <sighs> advice card. We have three of swords in the reverse position. So, two threes and then the devil. So, some of you could have actually had a situation in which you were hurt. Perhaps it was a literal heartbreak. Perhaps some of you could have had a third party situation that just simply did not work out. And it could have been a karmic relationship. But you are now in the process of healing. And the overall message here is to continue to heal and to let it go. Move forward. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let your fears, addictions, or anything of that type of nature, don't let any of it hold you back, okay? We don't want you to rob yourself of this opportunity. But, you know, healing is taking place.